So one of the styles that we can look at if we're starting to deal with an array is something we like to call a stack. So we all kind of understand an array. It's pretty much just a list of numbers uh, in, a, in some kind of order uh, to work off of. Now, if I had to go through this list, just like we've already started to discuss, I'd have to run off of uh, a big O of n. Again, I have to go through every single element. Now, the idea behind a stack, one of the ways I like to think about a stack, because I like to think in food, is let's imagine I've got a terrible looking plate, and on that plate, I happen to have a bunch of pancakes. All right, well, if we looked at that kind of stack of pancakes, if you will, one of the things we would say is, how do I want to go about eating this? Now, if I was a heathen, if I was just a, ma a heathen, I'd say, let me just cut through every single one of these and take out a big old chunk of it. Now, I'm not a heathen. I would never do such a thing because, you know, if I'm trying to enjoy my pancakes, I don't want to get rid of them that quickly. And so as a result, what I would start to do is I'd start to say, well, let's just worry about that top piece for a second. And let me just start to work off of that one. Eventually, as you can sort of guess, I'm going to finish my pancake. And what do I do? Well, I just go and I start working on the next pancake. The same kind of idea here can be applied to a stack. So a stack has a few different sort of, we, we would call them operations. And the idea is, first we have something we would classify as, say, a push of an element. The idea here is that if I had, say, this stack over here, let me sort of increase my size a little bit, and let's get rid of you right here. Mm -hmm. Carry the two. Go ahead and skip ahead a little bit uh, until I've got this out of the way. So let's say, for example, I wanted to push to my stack. Well, the easy way that this would work is that I would pretty much say push, in our case, let's say uh, push six. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the very end of my stack, and I'm just going to add a six there. We actually have the exact opposite. As you can imagine, I have what we would classify as a pop operation. So what does pop do? Well, push adds something to sort of the, the top of the list. In this case, 6 was uh, added right here. I'd have to tackle that 6 before I got to move to 5, to 4, 3, 2, 1, and empty my plate, if you will. Now, what pop does is it pretty much says, let's take whatever the top element, top pancake, top number, however you want to think of it, let's remove it from the stack and give it back to me. Six. Okay. All right. Those are not the only two, because we also happen to have a few other ones. These are more sort of the meta logistics. We have something like a top. Now, top and pop are very similar. Uh, however, the difference here is that if I made push 6, again, 6 is back on here, what top does is it says, tell me what the top element is, but don't get rid of it. But not removed, if you will. Okay. Well, the same kind of concepts can come in. Maybe instead of just knowing the top element, I might want to know the size. Well, in this case, uh, we happen to get a 6 again because I'm using numbers. Uh, but it just tells me, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, all right. Now, finally, we have a simple one. Is empty. Empty. In this case, all it's going to do is just tell me, no, it is not. It is a boolean. 